Korean celebrity is infectious. So much so that it's reaching out across the globe, spreading their worldview of porcelain beauty and youthful fashion. So, how can you get a piece of that celebrity treatment in South Korea and feel like a star? Beauty is at the heart of Korea's ever-growing film industry. With Korean studios churning out wave after wave of new celebrities, the vision of youthful exuberance remains the only constant element to their films. In a culture where beauty can be crafted, how is Korea staying young? And how can you have a piece of that action? The answers may lie in the destinations that are cropping up in South Korea. Known for their elaborate beauty regimen that ranges from 10 to 22 steps, skin care in South Korea is big business. With skin care shops found littered around Seoul, there is that ever-pressing notion that skin takes stock billing in Korean culture. Skin care is an essential part of Korean lifestyle. So much so that there's a place where you can celebrate that all year round. Skin Anniversary in Paju City is in the business of celebrating skin 365 days a year. Spreading over a 15 square kilometer area, it claims to be the world's largest beauty town. Dedicated to cosmetics and skincare services. As one of the top destinations in South Korea, their approach to skincare aims to do more than impress. Offering a plethora of activities all geared toward keeping that healthy glow. The journey to better skin starts with a more scientific approach. After which a facial treatment is prescribed before the masterful hands of your skin guide take you a step toward Korean glamour. After which you are taken to room after room of cosmetics and beauty products that offer a range of choices from organic toners to luscious nail polish and even a one-on-one -on -one makeup tutorial. To test out your new skin, a photo station is set up right where everyone can see you. And with Wi-Fi access, you can be quick to share your newfound glow. With your skin ready for action, it's time to explore Korea's world of fashion. It's hard to place Korean fashion. It is certainly bold and undeniably fresh. But the idea behind it recently has been pushing the envelope for art in fashion. With the growth of a more daring and liquid younger demographic, the South Korean retail industry is hitting a major upswing, calling the attention of foreign brands. At the Yeoju Premium Outlet in Yeoju City, foreign brands are entering in the market to compete for the Korean retail appetite. The first premium outlet of its kind, it is a dedicated shopping mecca for foreign designer brands. With year-round discounts that rival even duty-free shops, it is a fashion lover's heaven and a smart one too, with markdowns reaching as high as 70% off. This sprawling outlet holds over 140 luxury brands 
and offers a slice of life from the depictions of affluence in Korean dramas. But beyond skin and fashion, lifestyle and how to define it is South Korea's strongest draw. Where to be seen is part of the allure their film industry shares. The ever youthful stars that grace their screens are often based on subjects of actual lifestyles drawn from their hip and indie scene. It's undeniable. The demographic that spends, at least in Seoul, is the young generation. As you can see here at Hangdae, there's all sorts of places to shop, from makeup to clothing. Everything and everything, how you? At Hongdae, short for Hongik University, the young spend their free time strutting with attitude, basking in that street style glow. At the south side of Mapugu in the western end of Seoul, Hongdae is the unofficial urban arts and indie culture scene in the capital. Some describe Hongdae as romantic, others a den of underground cultures. One thing is certain, freedom of youthful expression here is comfortable and open. Cozy art galleries and odd accessory shops line the web of streets along Hongdae. Some kitschy, others quirky, but all together forming the eclectic atmosphere you shouldn't miss. Although the shopping is decent, and prices are more negotiable compared with Yoju and Yongdong stores. It is the energy and the culture that's worth noting. At night, the cozy shops turn into clubs, and on special occasions, the street is closed for festivals, performances, and events. Shop, shop. But if you only have time for a quick sip before your long journey, then head to a coffee shop to enjoy a brew and watch the lifestyle unfold. Coffee culture in Korea is incredible. In a region that is generally known for a thousand and one types of tea, South Korea compared with its neighbors seem like a geographical anomaly. If you're wondering where to get a strong cup of joe, the answer is virtually everywhere. Coffee is in itself a lifestyle and a destination here. Culture cafes offer more than just coffee, but an experience apt for any mood. The Coffee Expo to be held in South Korea in 2015 considers Korea to be the 11th largest market in the world for imported coffee. South Korea's consumption is indeed exceptional. With over 12,000 coffee shops not including those handed out for free in restaurants, Hongdae is just one of the many places that have made cafe culture a place to be seen in South Korea. With South Korea readying to host the Winter Olympics, places like One Mount Theme Park in Goyang City are quick to cash in on the experience. In Goyang City, an hour outside of Seoul, a year-round winter wonderland ushers us into the next phase of Korean destinations. The large, multi-themed playground. One mount has several sections offering an assortment of activities for the young and the young at heart. This newly opened theme park already has much to offer guests seeking an escape from the summer heat with its water park. But it is the snow park that will pique the interest of those looking to enjoy a bit of that crisp, wintry weather in South Korea. The snow park is an indoor winter wonderland where the main hall offers an ice lake for ice skating 
canopy walks overlooking the hall, all with that Christmas spirit about it. Reaching temperatures below freezing, if you're visiting here in the summer and won't have a chance to see snow, this may be the best option you can have to experience it. There's also a four-lane snow slide that's a hit with the kids. While the ice road for sled dogs are a thrilling treat as you zoom past the bend. Set in an adjacent complex is the Aqua Planet. A marine theme park visited by 14 million people a year. The aquarium is home to 325 marine and land creatures gathered from all over the world. It's an exciting place to learn and enjoy while you get up close to the animals. At the main water tank, an almost hourly show brings guests on a journey into the deep. As divers perform underwater, alongside the rays and even sharks. There's also a touch pool for visitors for a chance to hold the animals. There are marine mammal shows as well. A rare treat for most of its guests. While at the jungle, a multi-level section allows you to view a host of terrestrial animals and see the jaguar enclosure and parrot village. Looking ahead, South Korea as a vibrant tourist hub is undeniable. As the world turns to it for more exciting offerings, it seeks to push the limits of its imagination. And we're all certainly better for it. From the big screen to the real thing, South Korea has got us locked onto it. That's our show. Thank you for watching. I'm Pauline Tayanko Diaz. See you again next time.